Residents are on edge east of Dallas after District Attorney Mike McClellan and his wife Cynthia were gunned down at their home Saturday. A neighbor says he heard multiple shots fired. You know, and I, and I knew from the, the way it sounded, it wasn't firecrackers or anything like that. You know, the rapid fire like a, sounded like a semi-automatic rifle. McClellan's death comes two months after one of his assistants, Mark Hasse, was murdered. No arrest has been made in that case. And less than two weeks after Colorado's prison chief was gunned down at his home near Colorado Springs. As investigators search for a motive in Saturday's killings, they are also trying to pinpoint any connections. Meanwhile, local law enforcement is stepping up security. We're not going to get into that on security matters, uh, what we're doing on that. Just uh, to say that we are taking uh, precautions to uh, protect other elected officials in the county. McClellan recently questioned whether his assistant was gunned down by a white supremacist gang. He also said he carried a gun everywhere he went. After Hassey's murder, he received police protection. The mayor of nearby Forney says residents shouldn't panic. It doesn't appear to be a random attack. It appears to be a targeted attack. So the best thing the Forney community can do is remain calm, pray for the McClellans and their family through this weekend, and pray for the ones that are handling the investigation, that they do everything properly, and we get an answer pretty quickly. McClellan is the 13th prosecutor killed in the U.S. since the association that represents DAs began keeping records years ago. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.